Lay down, Mama. Lay down. It's okay. Lay down. It's okay. Lay down. Lay I'm right here. I'm right here. Shh. Lay down. Lay down. It's okay. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm here with Ruthie. It breaks my heart because I think about what these dogs have to go through and endure because of such neglect from their previous owners. Ruthie is five years of age. She is the sweetest 70 pound black mouth curl lab mix. She is a gentle giant in every way. She is loving. She is affectionate. She's quiet. She's peaceful. I see your little Twinkie tail. I see. And this beautiful girl was at the Miami Dade Kill Shelter. Her former name it was Lucy. Um, she was at the shelter with mammary tumors, definitely living outdoors and used for breeding. She was at the shelter for quite some time with no rescue holds and no interest. We decided as a rescue to place our hold. Shelly and I had visited the shelter, picking up other rescue dogs, and we saw her in the big glass box right when you enter the shelter, just very peaceful and sitting there waiting. The volunteers loved her. They said she was amazing. Um, she is cut from down here all the way all the way up here. She has a shirt on to cover. Lots of staples to remove the mammary tumor. And she is finally spayed and she will never, ever have another litter again. So the pain that she has to go through, the pain medication, it breaks my heart. Shelly and Keith um, brought her to the animal hospital for her surgery. They picked her up yesterday and they have been nurturing her and making sure she is comfortable, making sure she's getting her pain medication. Um, Shelly put the shirt on so she wouldn't go after her staples. She is receiving nothing but love, thankfully, from our wonderful, wonderful team. But it is so hard to sit here and listen to the sighs under her breath. I can hear it. Even with pain medication, she has to be uncomfortable. I know she's going to feel better in a couple of days, but it is just so hard on the heart. So hard. She loves touch. She's just a big old lap dog. You rest, Mommy. Is that your baby? Is that your friend? Yeah, you just relax, Mom. It's okay. So I wanted to do a little update and let everybody know that Ruthie is here with us and she made it through surgery. We did send out for a biopsy on the mammary tumor. Dr. Babevsky was very satisfied um, with the surgery and the margin got everything out. So it's a clean margin. She feels that she's in fantastic shape. She did wonderful during the surgery and now it's just time to heal. And I look at her and I think if we didn't rescue her, she'd be dead somewhere in a body bag in a landfill because that's what happens to these beautiful dogs that don't get the chance. There are so many that enter our system, the kill shelters, every single day. 
we see these faces pass by us, whether we're in the shelter or on social media, where there are so many wonderful people that put hours, endless hours and time into networking these dogs and taking videos of these sweet dogs that have been abandoned and let down by humanity, previous owners, for whatever the reason may be, there's no excuse. These are God's creations. These are our children. They are a commitment for life, people. Don't get a dog if you cannot commit for life, please. I'm begging of you. So many, just like Ruthie, don't make it out, and they end up dead, and they don't go in a peaceful way, trust me. This beautiful girl is up for adoption. We do have a couple of emails coming in, interest in her. Um, some of them are not a good fit. Uh, I try to explain people that uh, these dogs are rescues and there are leash laws for a reason. They think their dogs can be okay off leash and just follow them around. That's not okay with us. So there are a lot of things, a lot of questions we ask to potential adopters and screen um, before we make a decision and allow them to be adopted from us with home checks in place. So we do not ship and we do not transport. We have no problem driving a few hours if it's the perfect home. There is no excuse, Victoria, none. So please keep the, the love and the prayers coming for Ruthie for a fast healing, smooth recovery. And again, we have a pretty hefty bill for surgery such as this. Um, we have no pride. So if you can make a contribution donation towards Ruthie and our ongoing mission to allow us to save so many that we do, so many. Girl, mama. We thank you for your love and your support. This is my update on this Wednesday morning for Ruthie. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.